Welcome to Electron Line. Here's our next example where we're trying to reduce this by factoring both the numerator and the denominator and see what common factors we can cancel out. It looks like a very complicated problem, but these are the type of problems that are often very fun because of the cancellation process. So let's see what we can do here. We're going to try to factor this and this and this and this and see what we end up with. All right. Trying to factor this, we're going to write it as the product of two binomials. First of all, we write an x here and an x there because x times x gives us x squared. Now, I realize that the signs must be positive and negative because when I multiply them together, I end up with a negative 12. So I need a positive and a negative. Multiply these two together, I get a negative 12. And when I add them together, I get a negative 1. So they're one apart, and the larger of the two numbers is the negative 1. How about 4 and 3? So a negative 4 and a positive 3 because 3 times a negative 4 gives me negative 12 and a 3 plus a negative 4 gives me negative 1. So that works. On the second trinomial, I don't think I can factor that. Why do I think that? Because, again, when I try to break it out into the product of two binomials, I'm looking for numbers. When I multiply them together, I get 16. When I add them together, I get 8. Oh, I think there is a possibility here. Let me try this. Let me try this. All right. So we have an x and an x. Since everything is positive, I need two positive signs right there. And now I'm looking for two numbers. When I multiply, I get 16. And when I add, I get 8. And the only option is 4 and 4, because 4 times 4 is 16. And 4 plus 4 is 8. So that does indeed work. In the denominator, here I can factor out a 2 first. let me do that. So 2 times the quantity, x squared minus 16. And here I can factor out a 3. And when I do that, I have the following. So times 3 times the quantity, x squared plus 7x plus 12. I can continue by now factoring this and this and see what I get. So this is equal to, in the numerator, x plus 3 times x minus 4 times x plus 4 times x plus 4. That's an x here. All right. Two times. This is the difference of squares. This is x squared minus 4 squared, which means we can write it as x plus 4 times x minus 4. When you multiply these two together, you end up back with x squared minus 16. And here, that looks like it can be factored as well. So times 3 times. Again, we need the product of two binomials, x and x. Everything is positive, so this is plus and plus. Now I'm looking for two numbers. When I multiply them together, I get 12. When I add them together, I get 7. The answer, 3 and 4, because 3 times 4 is 12, and 3 plus 4 is 7. Now the fun begins. What can I reduce by dividing both the top and the bottom by the same factor? Well, notice since everything is multiplied, this is multiplied, this is multiplied, this is multiplied, here this is multiplied, 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 and multiplied, I can go ahead and factor. If there was a plus here somewhere or a negative somewhere, then you have to be very careful. Well, first of all, we have an x plus 4 here and an x plus 4, so that cancels out. We have an x plus 4 and an x plus 4. This cancels out. We have an x minus 4 and x minus 4. This cancels out. And we have an x plus 3 and x plus 3. This cancels out. So in the numerator, I'm left with 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, so it's simply a 1. And in the denominator, I'm left with a 2 times 3, which is 6. So the final answer this can be reduced to 1 divided by 6. Who would have thought? But that's the correct answer for this particular problem.